Well, the thing is, is that, you know, the drilling right now and the problem we're having now is in international waters. And I think there needs to be regulation of that and always has been. I think there are hundreds of pages of regulation. What I don't like from the president's administration is this sort of, you know, I'll put my boot heel on the throat of BP. I think that sounds really un-American in his criticism of business. I've heard nothing from BP about not paying for the spill. And I think it's part of this sort of blame game society in the sense that it's always got to be someone's fault and instead of the fact that maybe sometimes accidents happen. I mean, we had a mining accident that was very tragic and I've met a lot of these miners and their families. They're very brave people to do a dangerous job, but then we come in and it's always someone's fault. Maybe sometimes accidents happen. BP is doing everything it can to not pay for that spill and those are not international waters. Sometimes accidents happen. He said it twice. Dr. Paul also failing to give a straight answer as to whether he's stuck by the views he expressed in that remarkable 2002 letter to the editor that he wrote attacking the Fair Housing Act, as well as ducking a question about whether the federal government should be allowed to set a minimum wage. Well, it's not a question of whether they can or cannot. I think that's decided. I think the question you have to ask is whether or not when you set the minimum wage, it may cause unemployment. Tonight, apparent proof that the Paul campaign now realizing the candidate is not ready for prime time, pulling the full Palin by backing out of an interview scheduled for Sunday on Meet the Press. Only the third time a major guest has canceled on the show in 62 years.